Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for May 1st. This is for Wednesday. Moisture levels are rising. No doubt we'll have rain at times in the days ahead. Uh, Again, a complicated forecast, but let's see if we can nail it down for you. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the ABC 3340 Skycam Network. These were captured at about 5 o'clock. That's our Demopolis Skycam in Marengo County. Uh, It's raining not too far from that site, raining just down the road at Linden. Up this way, that's the uh, Skycam at the Wingate Inn in Inverness. And a look at the Skycam over the Tennessee River up in Decatur in Morgan County. There's the big deal. We've got uh, this upper low over Louisiana helping to aid in the formation of uh, rain over parts of the southern states today. And, of course, the big cold trough back in the northwest United States. That's going to be cutting off into an upper low over Oklahoma. And both of those features will impact us. The Louisiana feature in the short term, the western trough in the longer term. Starting off the day in the 60s this morning, uh, we'll expect a high in the upper 70s. Some spots may be touching 80 today. And that's a peek at the uh, radar composite at 5 o'clock this morning. You can see that batch of showers from near uh, Andalusia up to about uh, Camden, Linden, York, and Livingston. And all of that activity is moving northwest, circulating around the upper low. And with time, uh, moisture levels will be slowly increasing, so we could see a few showers a little north of there. But clearly, the most widespread rain today should be south and west of Birmingham. Ooh, look at the cold air coming down the pike. It's turning very cold up north. And remember, this is May. Um, And here's another oddity for May. Winter storm warnings. The counties in pink, uh, Colorado, parts of Wyoming, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Goodness gracious. And uh, all that cold air will be diving south, and we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, And here's a look at the snow projections for our friends that are in that region off the RPM for the next 72 hours, and you can see the heaviest snow uh, through parts of Colorado, Nebraska, Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Wow. Uh, in the warmer air, severe weather a possibility today over parts of Texas and southwest Oklahoma, but beyond today, no severe weather expected, just general thunderstorms tomorrow, and there's the day three outlook on uh, Friday. This is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning of next week, and the bigger numbers are a bit south and west of here, over the southern part of Alabama and Mississippi. Amounts in that zone, three to four inches, with the totals up this way closer to one inch. All right, let's get here and take a look at the modeling and see if we can come up with a specific forecast for you. This is the OZGFS, valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. You can see the upper load that's over the uh, lower Mississippi River region and the big trough in the northwest. And down below that, due to the system over, uh, you know, Vicksburg, uh, the most widespread rain today, again, should be south and west of Birmingham. Clearly, though, there could be showers farther north. Uh, But if you live in Gadsden, chance of a shower, relatively small. If you live in Thomasville, it's going to be a rainy day. Uh, That'll be the... Difference in the high should be in the mid to upper 70s today. Somebody might touch 80 where the sun breaks out for a while. And, of course, the cold front is dropping south over the Plain States. Now, tomorrow, really, the uh, GFS is not showing a lot of rain. The upper feature over Louisiana is in the process of dissipating. And, really, this looks like most of the day tomorrow will be dry. The cold front making slow progress across the nation's heartland. I tell you what, let's check the NAM. Uh, just for consistency's sake. And again, it's very much like the GFS. It's mostly dry on Thursday. So really, you know, looking at both of these models, I think we can maybe back off on the chance of rain. No doubt we're not going to take it out, but a pretty good chunk of the day Thursday could be dry if this verifies. Now, Friday, big upper low forms over Oklahoma City. And uh, down below that, a surface low is just northeast of there. And uh, we are in a moist air mass, and clearly there will be showers around on Friday. Don't think it rains all day, but certainly showers a distinct possibility. And uh, the high should be around, oh, low 70s. 
And then Saturday as we start the weekend, the upper low is just kind of moving down Interstate 40 toward Little Rock. And clearly in a, in a position like that, that looks wet. And sure enough, the uh, the GFS still looks like a wet day. That could be the day with the most widespread rain. And it's going to be a cool rain. We won't get out of the 60s. In fact, we might you know, have some folks in northwest Alabama having a hard time getting out of the 50s. That will be a very cool day for May. Cloudy rain. And again, it's race weekend at Talladega. Uh, it might be a challenge to get in the Saturday race. You know, sometimes they'll move it to Sunday morning and do two races on Sunday. But again, this could change, but for now that looks relatively wet. Now Sunday, the upper low still trucking down I-40. It's near Memphis. And the GFS has us in a nice dry slot Sunday morning. And this is a very distinct possibility. If this works out this way, Sunday morning the sun will be out. It, it will start off very nicely. It'll be cold uh, for May. We'll be in the 40s Sunday morning. But with the cold core that close, the air aloft is very cold, and I would expect to see instability showers popping up Sunday afternoon, but they'll be scattered, you know, kind of hit and miss. But because of the cold air aloft, there might even be some hail in some of the showers with no thunder and no lightning Sunday afternoon. But clearly, if this is right, a pretty good chunk of the day would be dry. But let's look at the European, and it's a different solution. It's got us in that you know, rain axis there on Sunday. So you can see there's a lot of uncertainty here, but we'll go with the GFS solution for now and mention just scattered showers Sunday afternoon. Monday, that thing is still trucking down I-40 toward Knoxville. Down below that, there's clearly a chance of showers over about the northern third of Alabama from Birmingham north. And, uh, you know, Sunday and Monday, we might see 70, but on both of those days, easily highs could be in the 60s. It will be very cool for the month of May. We ought to be around, you know, 80, 81 that time of the year. Tuesday still, I mean, you know, this is a Rex block. These things take a while to change and even evidence of a few lingering showers Tuesday. For now, we're not going to mention that. And then Wednesday, we're totally dry of next week and temperatures start to warm up. We'll be back in the maybe upper 70s by then. Let's go out there about five more days. This is uh, Monday, May 13th. That looks kind of wet. Not really a severe weather look, but just wet. And the end of the forecast on May 16th, that would be uh, pretty quiet. But look at the cold air again back in Montana there in mid-May. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.